Hi, I'm Dea and I'm the Product Marketing Manager at Kaler. Today I'm going to show you yet another macro from our Macro Suite app. I'm sure you have been keeping tabs on our Macro Suite releases, so today we will talk about, you guessed it, tabs. Keep watching to learn how to structure Confluence pages in order to avoid overwhelming your reader. All of are using our tabs macro. I will start by inserting the tabs macro into my Confluence page and then proceed with creating a new tab. So I'm just choosing the styles and I think I like style number two the best. So I'm gonna leave that one and I'm also going to adjust the width. I'm adding an icon and by clicking on it, I can also change it. So in this case, I am going with an arrow and then I'm clicking onto the text in order to change the title of the tab. I'm doing the same for tab number two. So changing the icon and then clicking into the tab to change the text as well. I'm going to repeat the same for tab number three. Here it is. And I'm gonna follow up with changing the color of the hover. Someone in lighter blue or turquoise and it looks quite good so I can proceed with inserting the content of each tab so in tab number one I've added some text I've added an info panel and I'm also going to add a note panel in tab number two I want to add a table and also inserts an HTML code Tab number three, I've already inserted a quote and a date, and I'm also going to insert a link. Looks great, I'm going to save and publish it. Let's check my results. Looks quite good, I'm happy. I hope you've enjoyed watching the product demo. In case you would like to learn more or have any additional questions, feel free to reach out and book a free demo with our Confluence experts. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.